Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, can we create object for abstract classes in Java? The answer is no. We cannot create objects for abstract classes in Java. If we try to do so, we are going to get a compiler error. Okay. So let me practically demonstrate this one for you. So I'll switch to this Eclipse ID and create a sample class. Okay. I'll just create a class. I'll just name this as a class A, let's say. Okay. Some random name I am giving. Let's say class A, I'm just giving. Click on finish. Inside this class, I'm going to create some methods. Okay. Some variables and methods if you want, you can create. Let's say int a is equal to 10 is one variable I'm creating and some methods I'll create public void. Let's say method a, okay. Method a is one method I'm creating. And in this method, I'll just write a print statement inside method a. And I'll try to create one more method, public void. Method b, I'll try to create the body for this method. And if I add this abstract keyword, before this method, the method will become an abstract method and uh, we are going to get a compiler error saying that the, for the abstract methods, we cannot have the method body. Okay, over the mouse on this, you see, abstract methods do not specify a body. So I have to remove this body for this method. Now put a semicolon. Still the error is not gone because if there is a class containing at least one abstract method, for example, this is not an abstract method, because this methods has a body and implementation is there, but this method only has a definition and method body is not there and it has the abstract keyword. So this one is going to be an abstract method. If a particular class contains at least one abstract method, the class also need to be specified as abstract type. Okay. Now this is an abstract class, but the question here is, can we create an object for abstract classes in Java? The answer is no guys. Okay. Just try to create, okay? For example, I'll just uh, create new class. Uh, let's say demo A class. I'll just create with main method. I'll create demo A. And uh, from this class, inside this method, from the main method, I'll try to create an object for this abstract class. And you will observe that when you try to create an object for this abstract class, you should get some compiler error, okay? Try to create an object for the abstract class. You see, this class is now specified with abstract keyword. This becomes an abstract class. For this, for such kind of class, if you try to create an object like, you see, new class, the three, okay? I'll just copy this class name otherwise, okay? Class A like this. If I try to create an object, C, I'll say, and create the, uh, give the same class, okay? Which I copied here. You see, I'm getting an error here saying, cannot instantiate the type class A. We cannot create an object for the class, okay? Cannot instantiate the type class A. Fine. Instantiate means object. Instance means object, right? Cannot create object for the type class A. So in Java, we cannot create objects for the abstract classes. Then there will be a question arising now. That is, if you are unable to create an object for abstract class, then how can you access the members of this abstract class? The answer is, in order to access the members of this abstract class, we have to create a child class, okay? For this abstract class, create a child class. Let's say, class AC, okay? Let's say C stands for child. I'm just giving some random names, that's okay. Finish. Now, I'll make this class AC extends, extends class A. Okay, now class AC is the child class of the class A, but when you create the child classes for an abstract class, the unimplemented methods in the, okay, the unimplemented methods in the parent class need to be implemented. Then only this error will go, you see? The type class C must implement the inherited abstract method, method B. Method B is just defined. It's an abstract method in the parent class, class A. Child class of this abstract class need to implement that. So the moment when you say public void, public void method B, the error will be gone. The moment you try to override this method or just define method in the abstract class, pair abstract parent class, right? In the child class, the error will be gone, guys. You see, the error is gone. Some dot out dot print DLM inside method B. Okay. Like this, I created one print sample print statement. Now, now in order to access the 
members of this abstract class that is this variable, this methods and all, okay? I need to create an object for the child class of this abstract class. What is the child class of this abstract class? Class AC is the child class. I'll copy this name. And if I try to create an object for this uh, class AC, I can create an object for the child class. I can create an object for the child class of this abstract class. I, but I cannot create an object directly for the abstract class. But for that abstract class, I need to create a child class. And to that child class, I need to create an object. CAC. Okay, child class AC. And class AC. You see, I can create an object for the child class and using this uh, and using this uh, object reference, now I can access the members of this abstract class and its child class, okay? So you see, I can access the variable A. So already the value is there, so I'll just print it out. System.out.println, system.out.println. If I say CAC.A, you see, I can access the members of the abstract class by creating an object for the child class. Because child class will inherit all the properties of the abstract class and child class is not an abstract class. It has implemented undefined methods of the abstract class. So it is a normal class. So we can access, okay? Similarly, CAC dot, the method A. Method A, you can access, you see? And this method, which is overridden and implemented in the child class also can be accessed, CAC dot method B. I can access all the things. I can run the code and I can get the output without any problem. The value of uh, a that will be 10 will be printed along with that inside method a inside method b also will be printed okay so hope guys you got an idea or an answer for this question with practical demonstration in this session can we create object or objects for abstract classes in java the answer is no we cannot create objects for the abstract classes in java okay to try to do so you are going to get a compiler error compiler error what does the compiler error say cannot instantiate EIAT, okay cannot instantiate that particular class okay cannot instantiate the abstract classes such kind of error you will get okay you can find out the error here you see when i try to create an object for the abstract classes you see cannot instantiate kind of a compiler error will come i'm just commenting it out so that the error will go off okay so what is the way to access the members of the abstract class then for that particular abstract class we have to create a child class and uh, if the child class has implemented the unimplemented abstract methods of the abstract class okay then by creating an object for the child class we can access all the members of the abstract class okay so that I have already demonstrated in this session so that's all for this session thank you bye bye